continuity in the world. That key of David has been applied to the door in our lives. If we have heard this message and we want to confess and walk in it, we will find ourselves riding through that open gates. It is the promise of the Lord. It is the will of the Lord. Hallelujah. As we enter in through that open gates, we discover ourselves ruling and reigning no matter what. Seated upon the throne in God's kingdom. Because in reality, we are called to glory. We are called to sit on thrones in God's glory. We are the ones that are called to sit. Isn't it written that He raised the poor from the dust and caused them to inherit the throne of glory? We are the ones He's lifting us from the dust, from the dust of humanity, from the dust of mankind, of human living. So that we can live in the light of God. Praise God. Isn't it wonderful that we are being called from out of the darkness of this age into the light? Oh, hallelujah. We are called from the realm of no power and nothingness into the realm where we rule and we reign over all the Christ. Everything is restored to us as it was in the beginning. Hallelujah. So don't be deceived. The king of glory is you. It's in you. Amen. It's in you as you conform yourself to Christ and recognize the truth of your being, you will discover an open door. You will discover yourself riding through a gate, back into your rest. You see, one man is upon his throne, he's rested. The king is rested upon his throne and he's seated. By the word of the king, the authority that comes out of the mouth of the king, he makes things happen. That is how it is when we enter into our rest. By the authority of God, we rule and we reign, and things happen for us. We are in harmony with creation, and we live in perfect peace. There is no fear. Hallelujah. There is no more torment. We overcome the unsinful, that is the unrighteous man. We overcome the nature that is contrary to God, and we be as satisfied with the righteousness of God in that realm. You come to the place where you lack no good thing, no more lack. But you live in complete harmony with God's creation. Everything becomes beautiful. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. In fact, when John saw the throne of God in heaven, you know, John, when he had passed through the door and entered into heaven and saw the throne, he saw the throne beautiful, transparent, glittering with light, like an emerald, a rainbow ran about it. See it? And he saw a sea of glass. Oh, hallelujah. That is the view of those who rule and reign with Christ. Everything becomes beautiful. Hallelujah. You enter into rest and you see the whole humanity as a sea of glass. You see the beauty and the glory of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. And all of is invested in you. You enter into your rest. So, brethren, stir up yourself. And begin your ascent. Enter into that door. Enter into the gates, O King of Glory. Enter back into your rest. Enter back into the place of kingship and authority. Amen.